Stop the hammering! And welcome to another episode of Savage Level Omega. No, I call it Sloan. Cali and Sarah one of my favorite Twitter users, made a compilation of some of his or her argument and some of my favorite police statements. These are not perfect, but they do their damnedest to try to keep everyone safe, and the left are criminally insane and morally bankrupt for demonizing these brave heroes. Hashtag Blue Lives Matter, hashtag Blue hashtag Make America Glorious Again. Because we're already great, but we can be glorious if we don't let So, check this out. There we go. Yeah. Oh, 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 double way every time I hear you. Yeah. Get him, please, man. All right. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, yeah. Got him. Okay, here we go. Oh, boom. That must be an end to Patriot 
24-7 at TT45 back. Warren Hatch waves on protest and screaming at him. Don't you wave your hand at me, I wave my hand at you! Hey, this is Adam, Michigan Democrats. You requested an application in the mail to vote absentee. Can we get you to put it in the mail today? Yes, but I'm voting red. Hashtag Adam. <laughs> This guy wants to kill so many freaking people. You know, shouldn't he get his just dues? Now, I'm not suggesting anything, I'm just making a prediction. Except that prediction is also a spoiler. Okay, moving on. Oh boy! Oh, <laughs> to be raised in New York City, currently in Boston, when in reality he's been a California native his whole life. I am very good. No doubt the age. I have traveled to 80 plus countries, background 15 languages. No, 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 no. Yes, M-A-L-B-A-L-B-A-L-P-H-D. Let's meet the king! Nah. No, thank you. No, thank you. You might want to stop going to those Poison Ivy League schools before your head that's shoved up your butt gets too big to get out of it. Then, of course, you're going to have to literally tell yourself trying to get your head out of it. But it's not my job to tell you that. It's yours. Okay, moving on. Oh! Seconds. A trend like this that has been around for years that I have been notorious 
people for having these contrasts and difference in as far as pros and cons go, obviously isn't going away as long as the entire state of California has it submerged below the sea forever. Which, now that I think about it, it's more likely not to be a few short years from now when we get in their current state of affairs or lack thereof. So, and I, you know this, that I obviously made a typo there. Of course, I make that careless typo every now and then. So, when I make a typo, of course, I have to own up to it. Unless all of California's citizens plead to other less populated states individually, given how inevitable the reality is and how much of an unavoidable thing it's to become when it does happen, and it will, there are quite literally going to be forced with the option to either sink with the ship or swim with the sharks. Such a prediction was made by a time traveler from the year 2075 who gave the prediction in an interview with the Tim's independent news organization, Apex TV, which, in my opinion, is a very credible source for either confirming or debunking certain conspiracies. Regardless, it goes without saying that at some point, should the inevitable be inevitable enough to happen, DeviantArt is going to have to find some other way to gain some extra revenue to keep doing contests of this nature, especially since they give out about $5,000 in prizes every contest, and they do at least one of those monthly as far as I've seen in Olympus or Home Dance Yours is surely destined to be slightly if not completely different than mine, but since my conversations are all from the truth, I'll take what I've just said to you as being as close to it as I can get it. Whether that proves to be closer or farther than I claim is up to the hands of time to decide. Needless to say, I'm calling it. All the hand-picked winners of this contest will only be chosen because of the fact that all the winning entries are digital. I'll check back on November 11th, or whenever the winners are announced, whichever comes first. And Mr. Grunk pretty much agrees with that, most likely. I say, would you like to know more about how I know this? I recorded and submitted a response to that question that was asked by another fellow TV artist. Should you be inclined to take a moment to read it sometime on your own board? Okay. Here's where things really get interesting. Saddleship, a senior deviant art member, says, If magic was real, maybe the lit members could magically be included in contests like this. RT Nightmare. Plus one, I wholeheartedly agree with this statement, wholeheartedly. Oi! Well, magic is real! Oh, oh, mess! The people moving the contest try to her to use it. And who fails over their best is faster than a very deep logic that you want to write.
Oh, hey, I see Robert Mueller signatures in there, too. <laughs> Dorsey's probably colluding with him as well. Yeah, thanks. Not a problem. Now, I want you to look very, very closely. If, in fact, you are told that you want a ridiculous amount of money for which you have to pay the shipping fee for, it is automatically a scam. It is bullshit. I want to make that perfectly clear to you all. It is absolute crap. It is crap on top of crap on top of crap on top of crap. And I want to make that perfectly abundantly clear to you all. Especially, and, and get this, get this, the FBI liked this letter! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And then she expects me to read that? I already know it's a scam! Why would I read that? God, man. I mean, she's trying to scam me. And I mean, God bless her, but she's trying to scam me and it's not gonna work. And, and, it's not even her fault. Because Jack Dorsey is screaming in her rear, SCAM THE PEOPLE! SCAM THE CONCERNERS! SETTLE THEIR I swear to God, that is what Jack Dorsey is doing. He is screaming into Sherry Ambrose's ear to scam the people. And I've got absolute respect for her, and I have more than enough respect to point that out. So, in conclusion, age-old question speaks for itself. Why do we have to pay shipping and handling for a cash prize they never acquired it in the first place? Wake up. You're all being duped and conned. If you know what is best, if you know best, if you have even a tiny functioning working brain cell in your cranium, you will never fall for this crap. Ever! I'll make that perfectly clear right now, just so you all know. It is a scam. Go fall. And this episode of Savage Little Mega No is sponsored by Powerball, who remind you that you must go Back to, and the Powerball is work. You gotta go back to work. Save your freaking country. Save this great nation. Because we might not have it after this year. Seriously, go on there. If you were one of those 63 million people who were fortunate enough to vote Donald John Trump into the presidency, then guess what that means?